Hello all, how are you? I hope all of you are doing well. Welcome back to Rice City class. This is video number 45 and we have started chapter 10 my computer in our last class. So let's have a quick review on the topics learned in last class. The last class we have learned about 3D printing technology. It is a technology with which 3D objects can be printed using heavy 3D printers. And this technology shows that computer technology has grown into great heights. Many innovative changes have happened in the computer technology. Then we have learned about the history of computers or evolution of computers. We have examined each stage of growth in the computer technology. The world's first computer ENIAC was developed in 1946. Then first commercial computer by IBM that is IBM 701 in 1952. Then world's first personal computer Kenback 1 in 1970. Then first personal computer with graphical user interface LISA in 1983. Then Microsoft Windows operating system in 1985. GNU Linux operating system in 1992. Then in 2000, the smartphone era has begun. First smartphone was Ericsson R380. Then in 2006, Apple company has introduced MacBook Pro, which is a high-end laptop. Then in 2008, Android was developed. Many versions were developed later. Then in 2012, Raspberry Pi was developed. Today, we are going to continue with the next topics of this chapter. So let's see the learning objectives of this class. Today, we are going to learn about different types of data then about input and output devices have you heard about charles babbage yes he is known as the father of computers he was a mechanical engineer lived in england then in 19th century he has developed a machine his first product and that was known as the difference engine it was to perform mathematical calculations only to perform mathematical calculations. And later, he has developed another machine and that was known as analytical engine. It can do other general computations, not only mathematical calculations, it can do other general computations also. And it was operated by giving instructions. And this was the world's first computer. And therefore, the world has honored him by giving him the title the father of computers. You can collect more details about him from Wikipedia. Now let's move on to our first activity of this chapter that is identifying evolution of computers. A table is given in our textbook page number 147 which shows the evolution in the shape of personal computers. See here we can see a desktop computer then a laptop and a tablet. We have to write the characteristics of these three types of personal computers and fill this table. First one is desktop computer. It has the structure suitable to be placed on a table. See we have a monitor, CPU, keyboard, mouse. Then we will connect speakers to it. So it has a large size and it has to be placed on a table. So it has a structure which is suitable to be placed on a table. While in the case of laptop, it is lightweight, smaller when compared to desktop computer and it is portable. Similarly, tablet is also lightweight, even smaller than the laptops, but larger than smartphones. This is also portable. Now, the second point, in desktop computer, the system unit is the main component. Powerful processors are used in desktop computers. Similarly, in laptops also, powerful processors are used. But in tablets, mobile operating systems are used. Tablets are operated with mobile operating systems like Android, iOS, etc. Then in desktop computer, mouse, keyboard, etc. are input devices and monitor is the output device. In the case of laptop, we have a screen which is an output device. We have a keyboard that is an input device, but we don't have to connect a separate mouse to it because we have a mouse pad in the laptop. 
then in the case of tablet it is touch screen no need to connect additional mouse keyboard anything to this so tablets are with touch screen technology then in desktop computer we need power supply but in the case of laptops and tablets it is rechargeable it works on batteries now let's move on to our next topic that is data different types of data in earlier times the computers could handle only one type of data and that is text data but now the modern computers can handle many different types of data do you know different types of data yes you have already learned about different types of data in our previous chapters what was our first chapter when a letter reaches the computer in that chapter we have learned about the text data then our second chapter was the wonderland of pictures in that we have learned about images multimedia images then our third chapter was can you type amma in the computer then sixth chapter was data analysis made easy in both these chapters also we have learned about the same type of data that is text data then a previous chapter chapter 9 hello mic testing in that chapter we have learned about the sound data so we have different types of data like text images sound etc how can we input or how can we give this type of data into the computer for that we need some devices and these are known as input devices in order to give text data into computer we need keyboard in order to input sound into the computer we need a microphone so keyboard and microphone comes under input devices then similarly how can you retrieve data from the computer or how can you get the data from the computer for that also we need some devices and that are known as output devices to see the text we need a monitor screen to hear the sound we need a speaker so the monitor and speaker comes under output devices so we can input or we can give data into computer by using devices known as input devices and we can retrieve the data or we can get the data from the computer by using output devices so let's learn more about this input and output devices by doing our next activity a next activity is use of various input output devices a table is given in our textbook page number 148 with many input output devices we have to write whether these devices are input or output and we have to write the use of these devices so first one is keyboard it is an input device it is used for entering text data into computer second one is mouse it is a input device it is used for selecting what is seen in the screen next is microphone it is an input device for what it is used it is used for giving sound to the computer to input sound into the computer next we have camera is it an input or output device it can work as both input and output device because it takes pictures then it can send pictures to the computer so it works as both input and output device next is scanner it is a input device for what we are using scanners scanners are used for scanning the datas and entering it into the computer so it is direct data entry from the uh, source document to the computer the next is barcode reader it is an input device it brings the information from outside world into the computer so it is a input device but the barcode readers will also have a screen to display the result or to print the result so it can also work as a output device next is joystick it is an input device it is used for playing games next is monitor is it an input or output device 
yes it is an output device it displays uh, the results in the screen the next is printer all of you know that printer is an output device because it gives output in the form of texted document so it is an output device then last one is speaker is it an input or output device yes it is an output device we can hear the audio or the sound from the speaker so it is an output device now let's summarize what we have learned today today we have learned about charles babbage he is known as the father of computers he was a mechanical engineer and he has designed a machine known as difference engine for doing mathematical calculations later he has uh, developed another machine known as analytical engine which is capable of doing general computation so that was the first computer in the world and hence uh, he was known as father of the computers then we have done activity 1 that is identifying evolution of computers in our textbook a table was given uh, with the pictures of uh the personal computers the evolution in the shape of personal computers we have desktop computer laptop and a tablet so we have seen uh, the characteristics of the desktop computer laptop and tab then our next topic was types of data uh we know that in earlier days computers handled only text data but now the modern computers can handle many different types of data like uh, text images sound etc so uh, we have discussed about some of the uh, types of data then how can we input the data into computer for that we need input devices similarly to retrieve the data from the computer we need output devices so we have learned about input and output devices then we have done activity 2 that is use of various input and output devices again a table is given in our textbook with uh, various input and output device we have uh, discussed whether the devices are input or output and we have also learned about the uses of the devices now you have a homework complete the table uh, 10.1 and 10.2 in textbook page number 147 and 148 so children i hope all of you have understood the topics that we have uh, discussed today so uh, don't forget to do your homework see you in next class bye thank you take care and have a nice day